you have reached Red Steel's awesome toy click review. I'm your man, Red Steel, and today I have a special review because I'll be reviewing NECA's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Stern Pinball Set. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Stern Pinball Crate. But before you get into the actual review, let's walk over some of the spectacular details on this packaging. Up front here you have the actual artwork that was used in the original pinball game. Then up in the corner you have the NECA logo. Then up here you have the Nickelodeon logo. And below that you have the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles logo. Then up here in the corner you have the Stern Pinball logo. And down here you have what is included in this crate set. Then on top of the packaging here, again you have the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles logo, and you have some more artwork that was used in the original pinball game. Then on the side of the packaging here, you have the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles logo, and again you have the same thing on the other side. Then on the back of the packaging here, you have the Nickelodeon logo along with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles logo, and what's inside. Exclusive items not available anywhere else. Next we're going to go ahead and open up this crate. What you do is you go ahead and it looks like the flap right here folds open like that. And you just pull that up and it opens right up. And right on the very top here you have that exclusive shredder figure. Which is the main reason why I purchased this set and why I'm putting this review together. And here you have the crane beanie which is really really cool. Really really cool. And you have the keychain, the magnet, and you have an extra large t-shirt. Really really cool. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Stern Pinball Crate. The Stern Pinball Crate was released on August 26 of 2022 with the suggested retail price of $49.99 and this set is available at select retailers. The Stern Pinball Crate includes a crane beanie, an extra large t-shirt, a 6 inch shredder action figure, a pizza magnet, and a Rocksteady and Bebop keychain. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder. But before I get to this actual review, I want to go over some of the spectacular details on this packaging. Up front here, a typical display window showing you both the figure and all the accessories inside. And on top of the packaging here, you have the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles logo, along with the Stern Pinball logo, and the NECA logo. And over here it says Real Toys. On the front of the packaging here, you have the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles logo along with Shredder. And a lot of the artwork here is the same artwork they used for the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles pinball game. On the side of the packaging here, you have the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles logo along with some of the artwork from the pinball game with Krang and with Shredder. Then down here you have the Stern pinball logo along with the neck one. Then on the other side of the packaging here, you have the same thing with Rocksteady and Bebop. Then on the back of the packaging here, you have some of the figure's features. And it shows Shredder in various poses here. And up here you have the Nickelodeon logo, you have the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles logo, and you have Shredder. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the unboxing for this figure right before your very eye. And let me see if I can find where the tape's at for this figure. I don't really see it. Oh, right here on the top. You have a circular piece of tape right here. I'm going to go ahead and open this packaging from the top. I'm going to go ahead and slide it open. And I'm going to go ahead and use my nail and just do the rest of it right there. It's a, it's a full over flap so you go ahead and pull it open. And now I'm going to go ahead and pull it, the figure out of the packaging. Pretty cool packaging. You have a billboard background with April O'Neil on it. And now I have Shredder. And it's an old fashioned tie wrap. You know, the tie wraps that I complained about from older toy lines. I'm surprised they used it for this for this toy. And I don't know if my scissors would be able to cut through this tie wrap. It's one of those metal ones. And it did. Pretty easily too. And now you have Shredder. And this Shredder looks fantastic. I mean, I don't own any other version of Shredder from NECA. But this shredder looks really, really good. Wow, it's fantastic. And you have all the removable fists right here. And you have a little gel pad to off to the side. Now I'm gonna go over some of Shredder's play features and accessories. And I have to tell you guys, I am very impressed with this shredder. This is probably my, my favorite version I've seen. I mean, I haven't gotten any of the other NECA versions of Shredder, but I mean, you can't get any better than this. Even if this is a, a redeco, 
I mean, I'm very happy with it because uh, he's got the metallic paint for the purple here, for the loincloth in the shirt here, and even the blade. The blades are sharp enough, look like blades, but soft enough not to cause any damage. It's kind of molded out of a like rubbery plastic. So I mean, this probably passes all child safety standards. And I mean, this is not for kids. This is, this is more of an adult collectible, anyways. But I mean, I like the fact that they're able to put sharp blades on his armor so that he can look like Shredder. Even the helmet has like a metallic luster to it. It's got that bluish tinge that the cartoon series has. I'm just very impressed with this figure. And just the way they, they melded in the soft goods here. I mean, they gave him his soft good cape, and it goes around his neck right here, and it just it blends in perfectly in the way they have it done. And the material is so sheer, it just doesn't look like a fleece. I mean, I, I know I rave about what Mattel does with soft goods, but NECA does just as good a job with soft goods as Mattel. I mean, Shredder looks great. I mean, he has that, that vintage look from the cartoon series, and they pulled it off perfectly. I mean, NECA with these Teenage Mutant Turtle cartoon accurate figures it just blows my mind. But this figure is fantastic. Well, let me get into some of his accessories. He does come with four interchangeable fists. He's got these two here. They're semi-closed. The default fists are closed fists, where he's kind of gripping his, his, his metal blades right here. Well, these are semi-open, so if you want to have an option to use weapons, you can put weapons in his hand. Shredder did not come with any weapons. And he didn't need to because he came with an awesome crate set. I'm going to put those off to the side. And he also has these hands right here. And they're kind of open hands. And these hands are fantastic. And it's just too bad they didn't paint the metal across the palm also. But I mean, even with the detail, you have the finger detail with these little ridges in the bottom, back of his fingers where they kind of bend. You have fingernail details. So you have a lot of detail in these hand sculpts alone. But in order to change these hands, you just go ahead and pop off the fist from the wrist. Like that. You have a little porthole at the bottom of the wrist right here. You can take one of his other fists, you have to peg it back of the fist, just pop that right into his wrist. And now you have Shredder, or he can arm himself with another weapon. But I don't have any of my other turtle sets open right now, so I'm going to go ahead and just put the default fist back in, which is the closed fist. But this figure is fantastic, and Shredder is one of my favorite characters, and he's one of the more iconic villains from the 80s. I mean, any sort of post you see that kind of puts any of the icons from the 80s, from like a lot of the cartoon villains, Shredder's on there. And I'm glad that I was able to get a cartoon accurate version of Shredder finally because I got away from collecting turtles with the first three waves of figures, you know, the first three years of figures, and they didn't really get to the cartoon accurate version of Shredder when I was still in collecting the turtles. Then they, they, they got into making one when I finally stopped collecting turtles, unfortunately, but now I'm just so happy to finally get my hands on one. If you guys found any of the information in this review valuable, please like and share this video. Also, if you really enjoy my content, please subscribe to my channel. And while you're there, click the bell to be notified of any future videos. I want to thank you guys for watching Red Seal's Awesome Toy Collector Review. I'll check you guys out next time.